This article contains spoilers for S. Opening Batman sequence was originally supposed to be a comedic scene until Warner Brothers got involved and changed it. It's no secret that the first live-action movie ran into several obstacles during production. First, the studio altered their plans for their unofficially titled DC Extended Universe following S. Release. Second, director Zack Snyder exited the movie after suffering from a personal tragedy, leaving former director Joss Whedon in charge of overseeing post-production. A number of scenes were either altered, trimmed, or cut during post-production, evident by the handful of S scenes that leaked this past weekend. Among the various gripes people have with one of the main issues is that the film feels like a product of two directors, not one vision. Some people blame Whedon for that particular issue as well as the poor CGI in some scenes, while others blame Warner Brothers' interference. However, people may be surprised to find out that one scene which has been praised was actually written and directed by Whedon and re-edited by Warner's related justice. League cinematographer once Snyder cut actor Holt McElhenney told that Batman's opening scene in which he encounters his first parademon on screen was written to be comedic, but Warner Brothers felt that it would be a mistake to open with a comedic scene, so they edited it into the scene that ended up in the final cut. I love Joss Whedon. My scene with Batman was originally conceived as a comedic scene. That's how Joss wrote it, and that's how we shot it. I thought it came out great, but the studio felt it would be a mistake to open the film with a completely comedic scene, so it was re-edited a little bit. I was disappointed, but when I got home to New York I found a bottle of my favorite champagne and a note from Joss that said, too. Battles lost. Great E. Joss, I can't tell you how much it meant to me that he took the time to write to me. Joss Whedon is a class act. I had the letter framed. Although many people protest studio interference with superhero films, particularly with the DCEU, this may be at least one instance in which Warner Brothers was correct. A comedic opening for Batman that sets up the rest of the film may not have been the right choice. But it would be interesting to see what Whedon initially had in mind for the sequence. McCallany's quote does speak volumes to Whedon's contribution to the film which was more than 33% in script changes to warrant co-writing credit. And approximately 15-20% to in additional footage, especially with regard to how much comedy was added during post-production. Some of Whedon's added dialogue comes out later in the film, such as during the Superman vs. scene after the Last Sun's resurrection, when Batman utters to himself that the majority of footage filmed under Whedon's direction were reshoots, with some reworked dialogue, though Batman's opening sequence was an additional scene shot from scratch, S mid-credits scene, Flash. Superman's race, was also an additional scene of Whedon's creation however, the film's Lex Luthor Deathstroke post-credits scene was Snyder's, doing something he may have actually spoiled in a social media post last year. Considering all the scenes that were cut and changed, DCEU fans are hoping Warner Brothers will release a Snyder cut of We'll Just Have to Wait and see what happens on that front. More Justice League or reshoot changes explain Sourcemen's fitness.